external generator of the number of male. The external generator of the of the male, they are first screw down, second spermatic cord. So these are the external genital organ of a male. Out of this, let us will deal first scrotum. Now, what is the scrotum? Scrotum is one. It is dermo or cutaneo fibromuscular back which gives the way for lodging of the testes via through and through the spermatic cord, the one which should be attached to the posterior border of the testes itself. So this as being it has been explained it is a cutaneo fibromuscular sac. Now this fibromuscular cutaneous sac is hanging or descended below the pubic tubercle and upper front part of a thigh, which is pendulous in nature. Externally, the scrotum is a dark red in color. This darkness is because of the presence of Dato's muscle. Dato's muscle in the superficial fascia of the scrotum. And also, the scrotum it is much more big in the old people as well as it is much more bigger in where in the hot regions but whereas in the young rather the adult and those who will be having a little bit staying in the colder climate the testis is which is pendulously hanging, it is a little bit smaller and firm. But the person who will be staying in the hotter region, as well as old, it is laxed and bigger. So, this you can say, scrotum has got the skin. So, this is the skin. The skin of the scrotum, it is a continued part of Anterolateral aspect of lower abdomen, the arm. The skin of the scrotum is dark red in color because of the presence of that of the, you can say, that goes muscle in the superficial fascia of the scrotum. So it is looking a little bit darker. But in the fair people, it is a little bit brownish. The skin of the water scrotum contains numerous hair follicles or the, these you can say hair follicles contains the sebaceous and they are little bit more on the water posterior part and even at the lower part hairs. The skin of the scrotum which is thrown into what a number of uh, you can say folds on the external aspect of the skin, it is called as a what rugosities. This rugosities is also present because of the appearance of the what dartos muscle in the superficial fascia of the scrotum. And this scrotum is a little bit, little bit in gone 
in the anterior median plane which gives the way for the water inside you will be having a one division or the compartment now that is called as a raphe this raphe is called as a water scrotal raphe scrotal raphe which divides a uh, two bags one right and another is a left now this scrotal raphe it is uh, developed from the water genital swellings genital swellings then you have what the water superficial fascia of this scrotum the superficial fascia of this scrotum it is the one the one which is continued part of one which is continued part of the fatty layer of the water that of the superficial fascia of the abdomen it will be going to run all entire length and the dimensions of the water that of the scrotal bag or cutaneo fibromuscular sac when it comes at the water in the what anterior median plane it is a joining and fusing with that of the scrotal raphe so this will be the water superficial fascia of the scrotum which is continued part of the the fatty layer of the superficial fascia of the abdomen then there will be a one more now this one is called as what tartos layer tartos layer is a layer this may be taken as a what the fascia of the scrotum fascia of the scrotum but this contains very 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 less of membrane but it contains the what a plain muscles now those plain muscles are known as a dartos and the color of these dartos is a slaty in color or a darkish in color or sometimes a brownish in color because of this presence the skin of the scrotum either it is a brown or it is a dark red in color or slaty color and also because of the presence of these things it will these dartos the scrotal at the external aspect throws into a what number of folds those folds which appears on the scrotum they are called as a rugosities now the question comes this is dartos layer dartos layer dartos layer is a continued part of the what membrane is part of the what superficial fascia of the abdomen now this dartos muscle acts as a barrier barrier because it regulates the temperature of the scrotum as the scrotum gets descends in the mail from abdomen into the scrotal bag it regulates it is a barometer because sperms which is produced in the what testes they will be not going to survive in the what higher temperature that is why scrotum has been i um, mean to say testes has been descended from abdomen into the scrotal bag and even if it is descended if any thermal change that will be going to regulate double checking so this is the thing about the defacing of the scrotum rather dartos layer then you will be going to have this this is the fourth this thing is a white line what you will be seeing all along the scrotal bag the one which is lining against the internal aspect of that of the dartos layer of the scrotum not only the sideways but also the what in front and back the entire scrotal bag now that is goes in favor of 
external spermatic fascia external spermatic fascia so this is now this external spermatic fascia contains only the loose areolar tissue and little amount of the water what is said to be as uh, you know that is little amount of the fat here and there it is right from deep inguinal ring to the water superficial inguinal ring and even into the water scrotum scrotal bag it opens now this external spermatic fascia it is the continued part of it is the continued part of aponeurosis of the external obliquus abdominis so this now you have got the what percolation color lining now this will be the what the fifth now that fifth is called as the what cremastic fascia now this cremastic fascia it is the one the one which is the lining internal aspect of that of the external spermatic fascia this is little bit much more thinner than the what external spermatic fascia and in it in the beginning it contains the what the muscles cremaster and this cremastic fascia runs all along the internal aspect of the scrotum or the scrotal layers or rather what you say as external spermatic fascia not only in front behind and medially and laterally entire throughout the length and the dimensions of this scrotal bag it runs now this cremastic fascia it is more of continued part of more of continued part of the aponeurosis of that of the aponeurosis of that of the transverse abdominis and the internal obliquus abdominis then you have got another sixth the sixth one is almost all it is about orange in color now this is called as the internal spermatic fascia now this internal spermatic fascia it is the one of the one which is continued part of continued part of that of the transversal is fascia transversal is fascia now this internal spermatic fascia it is a lining all along the what that of the cremastic fascia and this it runs in the scrotal layers covering or lying against the wall of the water that of the scrotum in front behind laterally and the entire the length and the breadth of that of the scrotal bag this is the internal cremastic uh, spermatic fascia then you have got this which the name for yesterday and yesterday you have dealt peritoneal layers so peritoneum which will be going to run further from the water that of the you can say internal spermatic fascia which is a continued part of the what transversal is fascia down along with that it will be going to run into so this is the thing you have got now let us we will see